want to make a quick video about walking my rabbit. Um, on YouTube you'll see there's lots of videos of people walking their rabbits on leashes. Um, so something like something like this which you put around your rabbit and you take it for a walk on that. And I bought one of these because I wanted to, to try it. But I'll be honest, my rabbit really didn't like it. And I don't know, it just seemed to take the fun out of the thing. You know, the rabbit wants to run around and be free and you've got this. And it seems like these are really more about the owners. It's about the owners looking, oh, look at me, I'm with my rabbit. Isn't this cute or whatever? So don't you don't have to do that. Um, you can get rid of that as well. Obviously, if you're in a built up suburban area where there's lots of I don't know dogs and things maybe it's useful to have that just to keep your rabbit safe but I'm going to show you today a different way of doing it and how I walk my rabbit so firstly let's get my rabbit out there he is so this is Daisy uh, Daisy's a lop-eared rabbit it's actually a boy I know Daisy's a girl's name but is Daisy the boy and that's how it is. So this is my rabbit Daisy and I know he's in my rucksack and maybe that looks cruel but it's not he loves it in there. We get go on my bike put him in my backpack he sits in there still as anything and it means we can come out here to the countryside and you can see we're in the middle of a field here so I can see if there's any dangers or anything and I can take him for a nice walk. So in a minute we're gonna go for a walk and this is how we do it. You ready, Daisy? Go for a walk. Come on in. Come on in. Come on in. Daisy. Good boy. So what I do is I just walk a short distance and then once he reaches me, I give him a little stroke and then I try walking on again. Just say three or four meters. Come on in, Daisy. Daisy. Come on in. And I don't really rush him because why should I? Come on in, Daisy. Come on. Good boy. That's a good rabbit. Yeah, that's good. The walks for him like to be outside, so there's no real reason for me to force him to go quick. Plus, I can't because he does what he wants. Good boy, Daisy. That's a good rabbit. Come on in. You're a very good boy. And just, as I'm just starting him off on this walking stuff now, I'm just training him, that's why I'm stroking him so much. Go on then, Daisy. And I hope, if you're watching this, you can see that this is nicer than having him on a lead. He wants to be near me because he feels safer as well. Come on then, Daisy. Daisy. Come on then. Come on, boy. Good rabbit. Good rabbit. Okay, so that's, that's it really. It's just a different way. Rather than walking your rabbit on a lead, if you've got somewhere you can take them where there's a lot of space, why not try just letting them go off the lead? If your rabbit's anything like mine, you, he won't run away. And um, I don't know, it just... For me, it's a nicer way of doing it. Anyway, I just wanted to make a short video about that. Hope you like my rabbit, Daisy. He's a bit of a superstar. So, uh, cheers. Bye.